Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about region of interest or ROI and we're, I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, work with uh, ROIs or region of interest within uh, a C++ file and also within a Python file. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, SSH into our Raspberry Pi And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the file uh, CD sixteen. I think that's the one. Okay. And these are a, a few of the files that I have. These are the images that I'll be working with. Uh, children, oh man, JPEG. And is this a uh, famous movie? I don't know if you've seen it, Children of Men, very good movie, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Uh, it was nominated for the Oscar, and I will be including, will, I will be working with these three images here. I used uh, uh, Convert, uh, like I've done in a past tutorial, how to make it smaller, into a 90 by 68, just by using the Convert uh, resize. And uh, if you have Image Magic, you could do that. And I will show you the code of how to incorporate this into into uh, a logo into this picture. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, control C, and let me show you the code. Uh, nano apply to no C plus plus, and this is the code. Uh, this is uh, right out of uh, chapter 2, we're continuing with chapter 2 in the Robert Lagonier's application cookbook. And uh, this is, uh, what it's doing is something similar to what we did in the last tutorial. It's taking uh, the image 1, it's decoding the image, it's decoding the smaller image that I show you. It's creating the region, uh, region of interest. And this is it's creating the rectangle starting at a zero and zero so it's going to start at the corner the columns and the rows this one is the add weighted that we used in in, in the last tutorial I, I believe and now here is showing the images uh, in the windows and then destroy and uh, close okay so let's run it um, this one I already compiled it because I want to show you another one also and as you can see it takes the image and it runs it okay into the zero zero column let me show you here uh, CD tutorial 16 tab. As you can see, let me show you the image now. As you can see, it's a zero zero right here. This is what this is doing right here. The zero zero right here, and uh, it's starting at, at column zero and a row zero, so which it would be right here, because remember that this is the x-axis and the y-axis. So right now is a uh, is right. As you can see here, the x and the y. Okay, and you can choose uh, a point in the uh, image and it will give you the RGB values of, of wherever you point okay nothing no but this is what is doing this piece of code right here is, is doing that and now let's do it uh, a little bit more involved more complicated let's escape here um, let me close it right uh, okay control Z Okay, so let's get out of this one and go into tutorial 16. No less. And this is the, a, a, a little bit more involved, 
uh, is, I'm incorporating the, what we did in the last two tutorials with this tutorial. So let's go apply for C++. And this is the code. The, as you can see, it's very it's doing this part right here. But besides doing this part, it's also doing a, a little bit of the things that we did in the last tutorials. It's taking, as you can see here, where is it? Uh, is uh, is here? This we did that in the last two tutorials. It's taking the splitting the the channels, and I'm gonna show you in uh, the uh, RGB. The channels are one, and you're gonna see when I run it what it does. You can change it here, but right now it's gonna be showing the uh, RGB it will be green because 0 is blue, 1 is green, and 2 is um, red, okay? So let's do it, let's run it, let me close it, and C make, and it's compiling, now make, you can see created the not yet let me show you now it's now it's there oh yeah it was there before okay is that the executable and let me show you the the code so you can see it and let me run it here uh, let's do apply Roy and it's going to show you three images. It's going to show you the 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 original. Uh, it's going to show you the original right here. It's going to show you the the uh, the th the one with the threshold value here. The the one with the gray. And it's going to show you. This is the gray one. And also, it's going to show you the the one that we did, the normal one. But most interestingly, it will also show you the 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 one that I just showed you with the green. Is this one right here? So if we change it here, instead of one, let's say that we include here. Let's say let's let's make it uh, let's make it red. Okay. Yes, and let's do escape. So let's now see make and make. And now it's going to show you the same three images. But uh, the third image is going to be uh, doing it in the uh, red channel. Okay. And now let's run it. As you can see, it did it with the with the first one, just like the first one the gray one and as you can see it changed the background of the region of interest into the into red okay and now let's do it uh, using Python escape and now let's let me show you the Python code It's uh, basically doing the same thing that we did in the first one. It's taking the, it's reading the images. It's defining the region of interest, columns, rows, and columns, 
with using the shape okay it's going into rows columns and channels it's copying it's doing the uh, a mask right here with the threshold the, this is it's going to show you right now I only have it showing the gray one and it's using the bitwise you can go to the um, oh, OpenCV documentation website and, and and find out what this is doing right here. This is very important um, function right here, and it's saving it into the mask invert, and this one then it becomes the mask again, and then it's here the mask again. Okay, so it's that's the um, the the first one, and then it's here is doing the second one. Okay, and now here is showing IMG one, so it's showing the, this one right here. Okay, and uh, this is similar to what we did uh, uh, in the last tutorial. This is very, it's almost the same that we did. Okay, so let's run it. show the logo, the gray one, so you can see. So now you know how to do it with C++ and you also know how to do it with Python. I will include this, uh, this code in my website and uh, like always if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.